Yeah, and we are. Get that out of there. Uh, we okay. Welcome everyone. What? To to fate. Woo! <laughs> this is the first part of session thirty-four. Woo! We're calling it "Make Our Tan Great Again." Now, make our tan great again. This is actually it's called Rescue Mission. You'll see why. Make our tan great again. I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> it's just so fun to say ironically in a fantasy world. Mm -hmm. Making a few quick uh, update notes. Bear with me. <clears throat> All right. You have to admit it's way better than I'm with her. We're gonna We're grab her right in the plate skirt. Okay. The grab her right in the plate skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. No politics tonight. None. It's not. It's We're trying to avoid that if possible. That's why we're going to make our thing great again. Okay. It's fun. Sure. It's so fun. Anyway, it's time for the recap. <laughs> oh, we almost died. I don't even know yes. what the fuck happened last week. The last, <clears throat> the last session. I know, I was he so, wasn't. I don't know what's going on. They fought... The wielder of Yol Smash, the latest Doom Slayer weapon that they have acquired. <laughs> Still uh, managing pretty lackluster. <clears throat> at the very last second, right after the White Dragon showed up, they killed her and get the weapon. Unfortunately, it resulted in Terrell losing his leg. Yeah, he lost his and leg. And Imsh, very luckily, rolling a natural 20 on his uh, strength check to recover said Terrell. Let's be fair, I saved Terrell. Terrell was missing his leg. I was the fuck out of there. And the cleric like decided that that kind of on a whim to try to contact Urusha, the goddess of stone. <clears throat> and it bloody worked. And it worked. <laughs> yeah, it was that other thing for him to forgot about that. Which uh, <gasps> grew back his leg. It's a stone leg, so he has disadvantage on stealth checks in perpetuity. And... Uh, but it's functional. It works like a regular leg. It's living stone, so to speak. It's very crunchy when he walks. I'm fairly certain if you kick somebody in the face, they're not getting up. Unless it smashes. It would be uh, uh, an unpleasant feeling to be kicked by it. That's true. <laughs> That's all you should ever do. <coughs> Kagan helps you shadow people. step out of there before the white dragon could take out any more of you yet. And the white dragon went about his business-ish. Uh, and you escaped to the Elven Forest, and then you did you had some brief role-playing stuff there, and then you went to Sartek City, where uh, you've been spending a couple of weeks helping them uh, repair buildings that were damaged, helping them with any kind of sort of magic-oriented goodies. <coughs> Fixing your guns in the case of Dirt. Yeah, man, you kind of blew it. Yeah, I heard. Blew it hard. Just can't get right. Yeah, That's what they start calling me. There, there has been enough time for you to just call twenty on that. Oh uh, yeah, totally. It'll, it'll just cost you some money to fix it. If I had a collar, I would pop it right now. Ain't no thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where we kind of leave off is uh, we. They also did a lot of shopping because they hung out with Sven. Who, as you know, is kind of my uh, Deus Ex Machina. He's the greatest person of all time. And at this point, it's probably it's probably been a few days after the shopping and the meeting and everything. And you're manning the walls, if you recall. You uh, sort of volunteer to assist in that. You've been staying at your Sartak City house, because you have a house. You were sort of granted one by the Adventurer's Guild way early on, if you recall. <clears throat> oh. It says to deal 2d10. If I just touch him with one, what's the damage? Like, if I just use one to reach out and slap, is it just 1d10? Uh, no, per charge it's 2d10. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and there's 10 charges total. Okay, okay, I got it. I got and that, it. That, that resets after a long rest. Long rest yeah. Okay, good. Nice. Yep, yep. Talking about his Shadow Rage, which he has, which I made up. 
and it's kind of neat. Oh, I guess I remember uh, using it to, I, I, push, I used it to push something away. So you I did. You did damage. use it to... It. Well, no you, no, you damaged. It was... Uh, I believe it was the Dwarfy Man. Yeah. I saved him from Ultra, the tree. Yeah. From the Falling Tree. But he took some necrotic damage in the process, but you did you did save him from most of that damage. That, that was quite nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> I always drink. My, my brother's real nice sometimes when I tell him to be. Isn't your brother insane? Ah, he's part of me now. <laughs> no. So. Aren't you insane? Don't worry about it. Isaac Smith, <laughs> I would imagine, <laughs> has spent a lot of time grieving. I've been babysitting. Uh, and you do have uh, a kind of child to care for now. A kind of do child? I know all the languages yet? Because <laughs> he knew all the languages. He knew every language. He we'll brought the roll. Okay. As time progresses, okay. well, well, I just want that, so I talk to everybody. I think you learned that as a bard, anyway, don't you? Eventually. Well, every no. No, that, that's just a monk thing. Just a monk. Got it. Monks are so OP. Yes, they are. <laughs> Wizards, They're please so nerf. So broken. <laughs> please nerf. <laughs> please don't nerf. <laughs> Dude, like monks. Holy crap. In you ever the Eric Harper monk. Holy in, crap. In, in the newest Legend of Riz book, <coughs> Drizzt goes and trains with some monks. We love you, Bob Salvatore. Uh, Please yes. watch Twitch. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Put him in a book. Real quick, no sidebar. Uh, first of all, shout out to Sirenscape. Woo! We love you. We love you. We don't because it's on our, our actual page now. We don't think we have to do that, but I really like your music, so you're yeah. awesome. Kudos keep up, y'all. keep up the good work. I love that you've done like straight up work with Matt Mercer. Oh, and uh, it's amazing. And shout out to Skull Splitter Dice too. These things are awesome. <laughs> Yes. That's what got got to the nine, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, I started reading Bob, uh, Bob Salvatore's work probably around the time I started playing D and D. Got me through some hard times, so you're awesome. I want the next book out right now, though. Even though your Didn't newest you just one release one. Yeah, October twenty fifth. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I see you have to release one like, every week. I'm you not can only expect enough. so much. <laughs> I'm still like, I think I got like 9 or 10. I'm just so far behind. Dude. <laughs> I'm only on the first one, don't worry about it. Dude, oh my gosh, it's so ridiculously awesome. Anyway. All right. Getting back in. I've been, I've been praying. That, that's basically what I've been doing this entire time. That and healing some random people. You right. So yeah, you've been working in these sort of infirmaries, helping get, get get the guards who survived back up to you know, fighting form. Fighting form. Um, can you can you but cast race dead? If I need to. You probably I have, do have tried some like expenses, right? Uh, and you have su- successfully yeah. res few people. Some people do. You couldn't put them back together again. Yeah. You Poor missed in the leg. You want to come back? <laughs> we have. Kitty, right. Is is Kitty Cat Cam up? Oh yeah, Kitty Cat Cam funny. is a go. He's not in combat right now, so that's that's awesome. Kitty Cat. A couple weeks in to your guard post and what you're kind of doing to help out around Tartak City, you get a notification from Kagan that you would like to speak. He said Negan. Kagan. Oh, okay. Megan? <laughs> is there, is there a baseball pet involved or? <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you. Easy street. Holy crap, dude! Oh, I wrote something that I need to record. Um, you know the the uh, the Chris Crocker thing. Leave Brittany alone. Yeah. I wrote one for Leave Daryl. <laughs> That's it's, a- it's amazing. <laughs> I need to record it. That's good. And put it on on YouTube. Anyway, yeah. that's beside the point. I found a 10 hour song of that. Oh, <laughs> and I, I, was playing, I was playing Destiny and I just had it go through my mic the whole time and I drove my whole party crazy. <laughs> Those 10 hour videos will get you. They will. I'll listen to the Harry Potter the one. The only one, again, we're the kind of deviating a little bit, but the only one that I have listened to for a long time is. Don't. Don't. We're, we're taking the Hobbit well, side. <laughs> I'm taking the Hobbit side. I love Lord of the Rings, don't get me wrong. A couple of hours. But the Hobbits, that the Hobbits, the friggin' the Hobbits. song, man. <laughs> the Hobbits, the Hobbits. Two Isengard, Two Isengard. 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 It's so, so friggin' great. 
I'll take the Hobbit by Isengard myself. Yeah. Kill him. I love you too. I just admit, it. you've pretty much been drunk for the past couple of weeks. Fuck yeah. I've been taking care of your Trying, trying to cope with... Oh yeah, I have a kid. With the uh, just uh, loss of Aaron. <laughs> you know, I forgot about the kid. Oops. Yes, you have a Whoopsie! kid. Whoopsie! <laughs> Uncle Uncle Frosty's been taking care of. Yeah, Uncle Frosty. We're probably gonna have to maybe uh, sacrifice a child at some point. Uh, no, uh, we're not sacrificing the baby. <laughs> He's a good projectile weapon. I, I'm sure we have enough gold to like I'll, maybe I'll hire a babysitter. Uh, I'll give him to me, to me, brother. All right. He's the only dwarf I'm on speaking terms with. <clears throat> all right, dwarves. Anyway, <laughs> I speak to him too. Like you all <laughs> arrive the following day. Kind of in the morning, around breakfast time, in Kagan's office. Bacon. Where's the sauce? Thirteen. And <laughs> there's there's breakfast laid out for you. Yeah. yeah. Nice feast. Nice feast. Perception check to make sure I'm not getting pickpocketed when this bloody rogue's dead. Okay. Eighteen. You're good. <laughs> You're getting pickpocketed. <laughs> um, in Smash. fact, yeah. So. Kagan's there, and Merrick's still there. Merrick is normally on the other side of the continent, but he's still there because he's doing stuff for Hallie like, Calvin with Rock City. And they all have kind of somber looks on their faces. Obviously, a lot's been going on recently. That's part of it. Guys, we saved the day. What's so glum? <laughs> <sighs> they're, they're having breakfast. They're kind of chatting quietly amongst themselves. Sven is not there. So oh. somewhere else. He's probably buying coffee. See, so just hang out with he us. He doesn't like time. coffee. <laughs> That's why he's ah! <laughs> I'm telling you, right. make so much money if you just sold coffee. Yeah. Expresses. You're just, you're just raising the challenge just, rating. Just, just, just keep it up. Doesn't care about money, I guess. Keep it up. <laughs> mm. yeah. All right. Does he, does he serve like tea? He does, he yes. Like, he, yeah. he, he, does does like tea. he does like tea. He's a tea drinker. Earl Grey head. <laughs> Earl Grey hot. Please, chapter six. A little bit of there. And let's let's have breakfast Try first. Try to pop up on a chair. And then we will get into why I called you all here. It must be really like unnerving to have a bear just sitting, like a half bear man in armor sitting. And a drunk guy with a baby. A breakfast table. I've got the baby. No. You're Even though you can't see them, there's probably well, about look, I stacked all these things ten the members of the number in the room. Good job, son. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, we're cool with these people. And Kagan's a beast. Yeah. You don't. He's not really Nagri scared of Nagri almost got one shot by him. <laughs> because he called him a bitch. Yeah, Nagri gets a bad habit of doing that. He does. Now, like, in like this situation, Nagri's is going to sit there and be quiet after whatever the hell just happened. So that's exactly what Remember, he's doing I just right give him gun answers all day long if we need to. Ooh, can yeah. I have one of those? I can't see no one right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, everyone has breakfast. It's a good breakfast. You're nice and full and ready for the meeting. So, <clears throat> we have something more pressing than watching the wall that we need you all to take care of. And healing your injured. And healing the injury, yes. Um, Sleeping with the women. <laughs> I think they could do with a little less of that with you being as drunk as you are. Yeah. <clears throat> I think you're too drunk for that, anyway. <laughs> yeah, don't don't sell me short. You already got one of these. You need more. He probably has more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sold me this is the one that you know about. One of our informants <laughs> has gone missing. Uh, this this is actually going to be kind of a multi-purpose uh, quest because there are a lot of things lining up surprisingly well for us in this, and that's actually why Merrick is here and, and Merrick's kind of nods. <clears throat> Her name is Vidanya. Mm. She's an elf. She hot. Mm. I've never met an elf who wasn't hot. <laughs> you have a fair point. Yeah. All right. I mean, <laughs> they're a bit tall, but there aren't really non-hot elves. Does she have any orcs? Well, there's this one. 
Uh, that's <laughs> racist. It is over. Right? I, 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 I like look. I'm just like burn. Gotcha. Does, yeah, does so she have any? Do you still have the belt of dwarven kind? I do, I do. So you're one of the only elves around that has a beard. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm awesome. You're bald and you have a beard. Yep. So it's kind of. It's super awesome. Yeah. I look like a pimp. <laughs> anyway. Look mighty strange. <clears throat> she had, she had been gathering information in the underdark. And we've lost contact. Now. Why in the nine hells was she going there? Oh, we gather information all over the place. That's just for. Are you even sure she's alive? Well, let's write her off. Uh, Move yes. On. I'm with it. have Move on. Uh, tried and have located her. Okay. Well, then she's not missing. What's <laughs> There's Can't some of you guys, like, teleport problem. and whatnot? Like, don't you guys teleport? Damn it. We are quite busy with. That's my uh, maintaining the protection. That's what I thought it was earlier. How long does teleportation take? Why we're sending you? Can't you just like pop like in, grab her, pop out? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. You worked for me. I'm just, I'm just asking. You know. I send you, and you go. Yeah, but we have to walk we're like forever. <laughs> we are constantly walking, and you people can just teleport. Like I just. Fair. <laughs> I don't get it. That's fair enough. I'll stay with them. They, 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 they look like they'll die if I'm not there. Why don't you teach one of us how to tell us so true. To save us some time. Yeah. We have, uh, well, we're actually going to get to that. Just bear with me. The crux of this is that we've also acquired um, word. The last thing that we got much of the information that we got from Vidania is that we have located the phylactery oh, bloody hell. of the lich oh, bloody hell. that you guys uh, well, Merrick really killed for you in your castle. You had a bloody lich in your castle. Yeah, we, that's for a little bit. We got rid of him. Yeah, it was gone. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's back. Oh. And he's you very... You can't kill a lich without his phylactery. We, we're... I don't know how to say that. We're aware of this. Phylactery. 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 And, uh, yeah. So, we know where it is. It's actually the same area that Vidanya is. Here's the problem. Vidanya is currently massaging the elder brain oh, of a hive mind. Good boy. Uh, oh, so, we had someone who did send us out on a quest that this whole time has been making yes, some kind of hat for us. <coughs> uh, actually, and he kind of waves <coughs> and from sort of like another room <coughs> upstairs. Shana. In comes Elias. Ah! Do I know he? Um. He's been in the Underdark, right? We met him once. <laughs> he hasn't been in the Underdark yet. <laughs> Who's the guy in the Underdark? What guy in the Underdark? The guy who we got to get the brain for. Oh, well, the Tinkerer? That's Tinkerer. 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 A bag of holding essentially, and he, and he takes out these helmets. He starts kind of laying them down. Dibs. On the table. They all look the same. This one's better. He's got high in one suspiciously. <clears throat> these. This is Merrick. Speaking of. These are uh, helms of, I guess you'd call them helms of mind shielding, something of that nature. Essentially, they protect you from being charmed from like by by mind players. We 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 have a suspicion that it will work for other aspects of charm, but it hasn't really been tested. Hmm. Well, at all. Well, not on other parts of charm. Just <clears throat> mind just, players. Just, yeah. Okay. This is kind of important right now. Sweet. 
Mm-hmm. Think for all of you. They're bloody gaudy and ugly. It's Fenaron. He could make them look at, like at least like the best of our armor. Mm, uh, no, Sven is not in Sartex. I hate my spent sets of armor. <laughs> it means you're a higher level. Sven, <laughs> Sven's a very busy man. He could be back here in a flash. He, goes, he goes from place to place. We never know when he's going to show up. <laughs> I like him. They look fine. What about my baby here? Can you guys watch it? I told you I'd give him to me. Is there a helmet for the baby? We yes, we have the means of setting up housing and care for housing. It's not being baby. baby. You can not just like keep it in your own house. It doesn't need its own house. It's a baby. In <laughs> 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 a lavish <laughs> man- mansion. <Caretaker. laughs> we have. We can. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty cheap. We we can hire. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Just hire me, brother. Yeah, Miranda, we got cat cam. He's hiring me, brother. Miranda's very excited. Oh, it's cat cam. I don't know. He's out of the temple. Oh, I don't want. Yeah. I don't want a religious baby. He's not religious. But he works. With, he's at the temple. That's just what he's staying. You give him a house and the baby, he'll be fine. Get out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even fit, but I'm gonna lay here. He's made it fit. That's funny. Kitty. Yes, we can take care of Schmitty for you. Um, Schmitty! <laughs> terrible thing. Terrible law. The name? Oh, oh no. Schmitty. 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 Get Schmitty. Schmitty. Thanks, I'm gonna go cry. I'm gonna go cry a little bit. I forgot about that. Fuck up! Damn! Miranda, I can't. <laughs> I'm watching chat. I can't respond to you. <laughs> what? He's like, send something else other than a happy face, because that's our default for the like. Uh, I'll just keep on just sending it over and over again. Bloody <laughs> <laughs> cat. Meow, Kegel, meow! Now here's the thing. Merrick also lays out a, uh, it's, it's a stone that has rune etched into it. It's about the size of a coaster. Alright. The Underdark is, as I'm sure you know because you've been down there a few times, as I recall. It's not yeah. a bad place. Uh, a very dangerous place. It's alright. Yeah. Dark. <laughs> yes. There are Death Elves, there are Mind Players, which you're going to have to deal with a lot of those. No. And there's, of course, other denizens that are way more terrifying than the mind players. If I see one Umberhold, I'm turning around. This stone, we all have to be together. This stone will teleport the holder of the stone and any creature within a 10 foot radius. Ooh. To where? To... Isengard. God, 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 God. Uh, that's I bloody hilarious. hate you all. <laughs> well, that's actually a, a good question. Where would you like it to go? Back here. Yeah, right here is good. Well, wait. Is this Dude. a bloody hard stone? Is this like a, a, the guild hall. a forward and a backward thing? Or is this like a... Just a well, one time use. You mean like mark and recall? Right. Kind of thing? Like can I, I mean, can, will it teleport us to some place like... And then we can teleport back with it? Or is this like one? No. Okay. Uh, Brings you here. I would say teleport us into a room just in case we bring something with us. It will that's fair. Direction. Uh, okay. uh, dungeon. Uh, just in case we take a prisoner. Yeah. Okay. We can arrange for that. Okay. And yes, be <laughs> careful with it because it that will... be time. It's not just friendly creatures. It's all creatures. <laughs> oh, shit, there's a mind flare here now! <laughs> like bring back a ba- Baylor or something with us. Just yeah. pop in and start murdering everything. Uh, we will be right back. That's how we're actually going to beat it. Later. We're just going to throw the...